Hey guys, it's me, Quantrip, X39 here, doing another Battle of Palilu in LEGO. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so, let's see. I will start by giving you a quick overview of what has happened over the mock. Okay, so, basically, what I've been doing this past week is, as you can see here, I've got parts everywhere, and I've been trying to figure a few things out. So, starting over here, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm doing this mountain. Now, the problem is, if we go down here to this pile of parts, these slopes right here are really useful for making tall like rock structures because obviously they're tall and it's easier to stack because for example if I just did this like over and over again it's gonna be a really weird like angle going up but if I use these I think I have a couple more down here so if I use these as you can see Let's see there, there we go. The angle is much more steep and it's kind of more mountain-like. There's a really good comparison right there. So I need something like this. And I've tried my technique uh, that I showed, let's see, last two weeks ago, I believe it was, where my friend Sean had used these snot pieces and used these one by two slopes and made something like this. Now, not like that, this. So that looks pretty good, but the problem is there ends up being all these holes and the overall back structure it is really like complex. Like you need a lot of jumper plates, you need a lot of one by one bricks to support everything. It does look cool if I can get a bird's eye, not a bird's eye view, but a front view. It would look cool and I think it would work, but it's way too complicated. So, and the problem is, okay, so this won't really work. Unless you guys really want me to, let me know in the comments, but I don't think this will work. These are really expensive. There's only like one seller that I know of that has these, so that's an issue. So if I can find someone, I'm probably going to buy those. If not, here's plan, I'll probably C, plan C. So basically, I found these parts in all of my dark bluish gray down here. And they're, I think, 2x6 and 1x6 curved slopes. Now, I was playing around with the snot bricks that I got. I got 400 of these. Or at least I hope there's 400 in there. And I was playing around with it, and I could actually make this work. So picture this, like right here, and then picture that going up, and then I could use these pieces so it goes up, and then I could use those pieces to kind of go up a little more gradually. So let me know. I'm not going to order anything, but let me know if you guys think I should try doing this. And it would look kind of cool because it would be mainly smooth. There would be a few studs showing. But that's where I'm at, so let me know. Do you want me to try to do the curved route? Or do you want me to try to find these or both? So let me know in the comments down below. Also, this is all I have left of 1x2 tan plates. Now, I'm going to need these for pretty much the majority of this mock that has tan on it to make it look like this awesome beach section and make it look kind of torn up and war torn. So that's all I have. That's probably 100 or so. I ordered 4,000 more, but from estimates, I need like 8,000 total. So I'll probably get those because that was from one guy in the US that I had like a 20% off coupon. I think I saved like $60 with the coupon. It was a pretty large order because I ordered like 3,800 of those and then I think I ordered 250 of these one by one dark tan, like these ones right here, these little plates, um, to mix up the colors a little bit. And yeah, that was like a $240 order, but I think I got it for 180 with the coupon or something like that. Can't remember exactly, but that was a good deal. So. Once we get those in, I'll be able to work on like this front section here a little bit more and then we'll be able to see how many more I will need because that will probably, hopefully that will finish like this much, at least close to half. So we'll see what that does. And then I did get in with the snot pieces. I did get in, I think I ordered 14 of these dark tan bush pieces, these ones right here. And they work really well because I'm not a real big fan. I mean, they're cool and all the green ones, but I feel like I might use a couple of them, but I feel like they stand out too much, and the dark tan really, really goes well with the just regular tan, so I think there's 14 of those in there, and then a bunch of these slope pieces in there. I thought I might be able to use those. We might not be able to, so I got those in, and then I got all of those in, so that's good, and what else? I did finish this Sherman, so... What had been not finished on this, I guess, is I didn't have tank treads. So I didn't know where my all my three wide tank treads were. And they were actually downstairs in a bin. 
I had made a conveyor belt and I used like all of them. So I found a huge chain of them and was able to complete this. Other than I think I'm missing like one or two tiles on the top, but other than that, it looks pretty good. It's kind of oversized, like I'm sorry Brickman, it's very oversized. And I built this all with my own pieces, which was kind of cool. It only cost me I think $20 in pieces because most of them I, were able, I was able to find myself. I might actually print like the US star on the side and add some more detail. I have my M2 shield and whatnot, but I might leave that in the mock. I might actually have that coming out of the water because it is the um, extended, what do you call it, smokestacks or something. Basically so water doesn't get in the engine and flood it. And then I got the Stuart here. Then we got the mini wheelies Jeep, even though it's a mutt, but you know, whatever. And uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, this I showed at the beginning of the video. It was just a little test scene that I'm doing and this is kind of what I'm hoping the whole mock will look like. So let me know, I basically took the same technique I did on the beach here, kind of moved it on, added some brown studs, added some grass, some of these bush pieces, some of these bamboo pieces, whatever these you'd call them. I have like this one palm tree, that's all I have. I have a couple like spare pieces for them and whatnot and those are like really expensive ones. So we might use my alternative version of the palm tree which you can actually see in my parcel storm video up there and uh, you can see how I did those. Then I used some of these alt brick uh, grass stalks. So overall I think it looks pretty good. I even took some dark tan, kind of made like a hole for this to come out of. I don't know, make it look like it was wet or something like that. So that's kind of cool. We still got to figure out a bunker design. I started looking on Google Images for those and most of them were light bluish gray kind of colors as far as what the uh, Japanese actually had. But I'd like to also do some reddish brown ones, kind of make them look like wood or maybe even sand. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do as far as bunkers. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. So once again, waiting on some more parts to finish a majority of the section we kind of had, you know, the water, that was a big section, all those tan plates, that was a big section. Now we're on to more tan plates on top and uh, that's where we're at now. And then I'd like to start working on the mountain and once we get, really once we get these tan plates in, the one by twos and we'll see how many that covers and then we can order more. Then it's just basically cover all that mountain, then it's like vegetation, bunkers, uh, figures, and we're done guys, so we're almost there. I'd say we're at least halfway there. So overall, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the mock, any suggestions, feedback, that is all appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next video.